Hey up guys, it's Cly here, and welcome to Let's Play Uncharted 3, Drake's Deception. One of my favourite games of all time, I actually do have a save data here, let's just ignore that. That is from my own personal save of when I went through the game, and beat the game 100%. I'm actually going to like completely do a new thing, and of course, crushing. I am going to be playing on crushing, probably one of the worst decisions of my life, because in crushing mode, if you get shot like three, four times, you're in the danger zone and you're probably going to die. So it's very, very difficult. I'm probably going to rack up deaths in the hundreds here, probably more than that sometimes. Um, but I have had some experience with this game, so hopefully I should be good. So let's just do it. Let's just start the game. Let's just play. Uncharted 3, Drake's Deception. All men dream, but not equally. Those who dream by night, in the dusty recesses of their minds, wake in the day to find that it was vanity. But the dreamers of the day are dangerous men, for they may act their dream with open eyes to make it possible. This. I did. Hands up. Enjoying yourself, pal? Oh, yeah, you're a comedian. Nice warm welcome. They're both clean. My apologies. One can't be too careful. I'm guessing you're Talbot? Mr. Sullivan. And Mr. Drake. That's right. Do you have it? Let's, uh... See the money first. Cut out. It's all there. Now let's see it. I'll need to authenticate it. Of course. Silver. 16th century, Elizabethan design, inscribed with Sir Francis Drake's motto. Well, it appears to be genuine. Well, of course it's genuine. If I may ask, how did you two come into this? Does it matter? <laughs> My client will be very pleased. Hold on a minute. Sully, this is fake. I assure you, Mr. Drake. Oh, oh, you are right. This is phony as a $3 bill. What the hell are you trying to pull here? Perhaps I should be asking you. This is bullshit. Deal's off, pal. And you? You can tell your client. You blew it. Come on, Nate, let's get the hell out of here. You're not really in a position to negotiate. Now give me the ring, take the case, and walk out of here like gentlemen while you still can. Do as the man says, son. You're a thief. Well, now, that's ironic. Come on. 
Okay, so this section is of course going to be mostly tutorial, basically telling you how to fight and how to use combat. Basically it's the same, you know, as in any other uh, Uncharted game. Triangle is like a counter-attack and, uh, oh shit, of course, I'm in crushing mode so we don't actually get the icons to tell us what to do. Ah, oh, completely forgot about that. But yeah, um, when you play in crushing mode, it doesn't tell you what to do. So um, if you're in a grapple, it won't tell you that you need to mash circle. I don't even think it will. Oh, it does. It does now, of course, because this is the tutorial. However, you need to like be really, really like sure of what you're doing. Because if you're not, then of course uh, you'll get completely screwed up. Because people come at you and you'll like not be able to block like this. This guy here, he's like trying to attack me. So of course I press triangle. It's like Batman in the Arkham games when you go into um, New Game Plus. Of course, it doesn't actually show you the uh, counter-attack icon, so you have to be, like, wary. The game does kind of slow down a bit, so you can, like, get a little bit of indication of, like, ooh, Drake Cake right there. Very nice. Stop kicking him in the arse, you fuck nugget. Right, let's see if we can take him out with the, um, oh, shit. I was trying to, like, smash his head onto the pull tip. There we go. Now, I can actually bring him towards the bottle here. Go towards the bottle, and sometimes you can pick up a bottle and smash them around the face with it. Sometimes you can also get a pull cue. You know, just you can grab items off the wall, like a, a glass or a vase or something like that. Um, nice little English flag there. Very, very patriotic, of course. Now, uh, remember this bit here, this little window here, because we're going right through it. What's this? Hey there, big fella. I got him. Quick, get him! Not bad idea, Grandpa. Get him! You spilled my drink! Alright, so to throw an enemy, or to throw a nearby enemy, of course they have to be near. How are you going to throw them otherwise? Telekinesis? Press circle while holding L in the desired direction. So of course you grab a guy and throw him anywhere you want. Of course this guy just need me straight in the bollocks, brilliant. Uh, you can press circle and just throw him away. Uh, you know, it's very simple, very basic combat. I think I hit that guy there but it didn't work. Of course when you're in a grapple like that, if you mash circle you can escape the grapple. I'm going to try and actually, um, like, they can kill the bot, like, I say kill, knock out the bartender here as well. I'm going to try and grab hold of a glass or something and, like, smash it into someone's face just to show you what it's like. Of course, um, I kind of can't do that right now. Oh, there we go. Oh, 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 I was trying to do a Drake cake. It didn't really work out. Drake cakes are a little bit harder in this game because you don't actually have the, oh, Drake cake. There you go. You don't actually have the official brutal combo, which, of course, was, uh, like, square, triangle, square, I think. Um, oh, grapple here, of course, press circle. And I, like I said earlier, that doesn't actually come up. Oh shit, just threw him straight through the fucking window. Oh my god, uh, Drake Cake. Oh no, that was weak. That was fucking weak, Drake. What are you talking about? Oh shit, the guy just come up behind me. Didn't even see this guy. There's actually two more people. Brilliant. And I think you can actually knock out the bartender. The bartender actually got knocked out by Sully. What a guy. Oh my god, that's brutal. Thanks. <laughs> That's nasty. Come on. Just, just give me a second there, mate. I'll be right with you. It's really weird when Nate says mate. It just doesn't sound right. And here, you press square, but this guy's like, he's built like a brick shit house. Look at him. Okay, ready for more. Oh my god, uh, I wasn't even looking. I actually looked at my computer, looked back, and then, uh, yeah, that happened. Alright, let's try again and try not to die. I did say I'm going to die a lot, although I didn't expect to die here. Okay, ready for more. Okay. 
okay in there? You hurt? Just my pride. They're gonna need a plunger. Come on. Let's go, Nate. Now, I'm gonna try and make this as cinematic as I can. Uh, purely because the game is very cinematic, like, in and of itself. However, there's a coin over here, I believe. Uh, there it is, yeah. I don't exactly know where all the treasures are. I'll try and get some. I'll probably end up with, like, 50, which is, like, half. I do, however, know where the strange relic is. So we'll try and get that when we can. It's actually not far away. Um, and over here, there's another treasure. Of course, there we go. What's that say up there? Um, oh, can I not go into, like, a closer look? What does that even say? Um, that looks like it says... Cotton chips. Oh, cotton chips, four pound. Yeah, that's that's fair price. Fair price. Wait, does that really say cotton chips? Are you serious? Co yeah, cotton chips. I never even knew that existed. Four pounds. What's with the little line though? No idea. Um, and actually, this bar here. A little bit of trivia for you. This bar here was actually used in The Last of Us. I don't know if you can actually tell, uh, but there's actually. A little bit of resemblance, you might be able to tell if you just look around a bit. I think actually in the game The Last of Us, you come through the kitchen and you go over here. Oh shit, of course I walk into the kitchen. Um, but you know, you, you kind of got a little bit of a look at it. So you go through the kitchen there and you actually come out in the bar. And you go out the front door, kinda. And that is the same bar as in The Last of Us. And uh, of course, not- OH SHIT! Uh, well, that kinda didn't really work, but you know, it, it kinda did I suppose. I, I got in with the- I guess it's a fridge. I got in with the fridge door. Is it a fridge? Yeah, I guess it's a fridge. And possibly that, that compartment up there might be the freezer. Anyway, um, I hit him with the freezer door, which is very interesting. I've only ever done that like twice before, and I kind of didn't catch that on camera. You kind of saw his like, body fall to the floor. He's probably dead though. Anyway, I was trying to pick up the pan actually. I was trying to push him away and get to the pan, because he came up with the pan. Pancake. A bit like a Drake cake, but you know, pancake. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, damn it. Come here, come here. Typical bloody yank. All talk. Hey, 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 hey. You've had enough, haven't you, mate? Don't. Stay down. Hello, Victor. Kate? Still wallowing in the gutter with your protégé, I see. Not very dignified for a man of your age. Should have known you'd be behind this. Well, careful now. Wouldn't want you to melt. <laughs> Same cocky little shit. So fearless. I wonder what you're really afraid of. Not bullets, or blood, or broken bones. No. You get off on all this, don't you? Cheating death? Or not? No. <laughs> Mr. Sullivan, I won't harm your precious boy. I merely want what's mine. Give me that back! Cut her! Oh no, oh. Shut, Shut up. up! You fool! Oh, you're bloody welcome, Your Majesty. Marlow, we have to get you out of here. Oh, come on, they're a right pair of arseholes. What? 